Veranda Interaction. I haven't watched that one. That one I haven't seen. It's yet. not very good. It's uh-huh. it's a subpar Toho movie. Gotcha. Because it was going to be. A, it, here's what happened with Veran, from what I can understand. Um, an American TV company hired them to make a two part TV miniseries mm-hmm. on Veran. Uh, each episode was going to be like a half hour. Suddenly, that uh, company uh, turn off your camera, turn it back on, Lucas. No problem. Um, suddenly, that company went belly up, and um, when that company went belly up, suddenly Toho was left with this movie, mm-hmm. and um, they decided to make it into a full fledged film. Gotcha. And it looks great. It sounds great. The music is phenomenal, but the story is just really, really, really generic. In fact, the only the only thing that really sets uh, Varan the Unbelievable apart is the history of the movie more than anything else, because that was the first film for Toho, I believe. That okay, so what I'm getting at here, and I might be making a stretch for a joke here, but I'm going to go for it anyway. It's the Toho equivalent of New Mutants. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it took me a second. It took me a second, but you're, where, no, you're, you're kind of right. The history of that movie is so much more interesting than the final product. Than the final product, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the no, the only thing that 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 really makes uh, Varan the Unbelievable really stand out is that that was the first movie for Toho, written by writer Shinichi Sekizawa, okay. who would go on to really, really revolutionize the kaiju genre and make it what it is. Okay. It, it, it yeah. was him, like he. A lot of people give credit to like director Shiro Honda and Eiji Tsuburaya for really making the kaiju yeah, genre yeah. what it is. It was really him. Hmm. Yeah, he he was the one that like he wrote Mothra vs Godzilla, Ghidra. Oh, he wrote, oh, yeah, he wrote sure. all of those movies because he, unlike his uh, counterpart Takashi Kimura, he loved writing these movies. <laughs> he had um, the time of his life writing these movies and uh, yeah, i did i for those listening i did an entire podcast on him and and uh i think he's far more important than a lot of people give him credit for uh i think he was actually the one really pulling the cart at toho in terms of these movies um and so on and so forth he he was more uh, he was more into Godzilla than anything else. He wrote a lot of the early Godzilla movies, while the other writer, Takashi Kimura, wrote a lot of the darker, more yeah, serious, yeah. quote-unquote, of the movie. So, like, War of the Gargantuas, Frankenstein Conquers the World, as silly as that movie is, the themes of the movie are pretty dark yeah. when, you, when you really sit down and analyze them. Yeah. Um, and so on and so forth, yeah. yeah. Well, that was my rant. I know way too much about this. Oh, there's nothing... Yeah, no, that's, it's interesting as hell, like... There is a there is a bunch of cast of characters who made these movies. 